guys i'm ashley and welcome um i am here in my kitchen i just watched uh quite a few videos of some of my favorite youtubers decluttering their kitchen and giving tips um, about what they do to keep their uh, kitchens organized they're doing this as part of a series that was created by Dawn, by the Minimal Mom. She's got a great channel if you're into minimalism, decluttering, and organizing, check her out. Uh, but Dawn created a uh, challenge uh, that she's calling a clutter-free January. So she recruited a bunch of other YouTubers that kind of do similar things to take part in this challenge. Um, and so they have created videos this is the first week um, where they focus on the kitchen so that's why I am here in my kitchen and we'll be working on that today but they will be doing uh, different areas of the house for each week in January to get us motivated to also get our homes decluttered and feeling much better less overwhelming um, for the new year so um, I have done a little bit of decluttering recently, but I'm sure that there's a lot more that I can still do. So, all right, so quickly, I'm gonna show you a, a before of my teeny tiny kitchen, my teeny tiny oven, stove. Um, food storage, I keep all of my lids. This container um, gets kind of disheveled, but it's pretty, pretty easy to keep everything all together on my like Ziploc bags and whatnot there. Um, here is dishes, mason jars for storage, um, strainer, things like that. This I want to go through and get rid of. It's got like a bunch of random stuff in there. Up here is stuff that I don't really use very often. Um, baking stuff. Um, two different size blenders, like a regular size blender and like a individual size. Um, I don't need two of them and I haven't used either of them in a while. So I think I'm going to get rid of uh, one of them, probably the, the individual sized one. And here's like cookbooks, like recipe kind of things um spices and baking stuff things for cooking which i realized probably i should have put on the uh over here by the stove but i've already got these things in here so too late uh, utensils all these plastic straws that we don't use to probably get rid of as well as some of the it's silverware down here it's kind of like a mix of all kinds of things a walk that we haven't used in the four years that we've been here it's just been kind of back there uh some like food storage stuff uh pots and pans and lids and things like that for cooking i probably have too many of those so i might go through and declutter some of those my utensils things like kitchen kitchen tools Again, I went through all this stuff recently, so um, it may not be too much to get rid of in there. Um, this little car thing that I keep my, like, small appliances on and, you know, just some other things. Uh, this cabinet here is, like, all my glasses. On top of the fridge is, like, we keep the medicine and we get lazy about it and we don't put it back in where it goes, so it ends up just sitting on top of the fridge. Cereal. Uh, don't mind the door handle broke that's what happens when you have little kids yanking on it to get it open um, but I hear all the time when you're decluttering think about your fridge surfaces as well and try to keep them clear because it can become a lot um, they can become over very overwhelming and I totally agree and so I am going to one clean off the uh, the uh, drawing that Parker did um, and just get some of this stuff off of the fridge because it's a little stressful anyways so um, I've got another one of those like butcher block 
shelf kind of things. On the bottom is where I keep our water bottles and things like that. Um, lunch boxes and like, containers for lunches. Um, and it fits really nicely under here. You know, it gives me some extra storage, but it's like out of the way. So that has worked out very nicely. I'm probably gonna get rid of a bunch of these water bottles because we don't need them. Uh, so yeah, there is quite a bit of stuff that I can probably get rid of. But the more that I do this, and the more I get rid of, the better I feel, and the more I want to get rid of because I want that feeling to continue. Um, I feel so much less stressed. And so I'm gonna go through all of this stuff again. I'm gonna reorganize, I'm gonna declutter, and try to keep up with it. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get these dishes out of the way. Uh, there's stuff that's clean and needs to be dried and put away. We don't have a dishwasher, so uh, we have to do them by hand, but you know, it is what it is. One day. Um, I'm gonna get these dishes out of the way because that is one way to keep the feel, at least the feeling of clutter down is keeping dishes out of the sink, off the counters, all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done first and then we'll go from there. Seven pots, pans, whatever. Most of it is part of a set. It came with like a small and a medium saucepan. Small and a medium like frying pan, I guess. Skillet, whatever. I don't feel like I need to have two different sizes of these. So I am going to declutter the smaller ones um, and keep the medium sized ones. Really, whatever I might be able to make in these can be made just as well in the ones that are slightly smaller. So these ones are gonna go away. This set that I bought also came with like a big pot, which I use pretty often, and a bigger skillet that's like deeper. So I use these pretty often. Um, and then I don't use this one quite as often, um, but this is like just kind of a random, I think my grandma gave me this, um, just kind of a random larger skillet. Um, I don't use it real often, but in the event that I need to make some, like a larger meal, I use it and it works. It works well for me. So I'm gonna declutter two and I'm gonna keep the five of them because really they're the ones that I use and I just don't find myself reaching for those smaller saucepans and skillets. So why keep them around? I don't really use this. There's no straw. <laughs> Grab a cup. I replaced our, whatever you call these, um, on our stove because the ones that were originally on the stove when we moved in got to be really gross. So um, I bought some black ones. This was an extra one, one that didn't fit. Um, so I keep it in here. Why? I don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of, I'm gonna start putting back the stuff that I wanna keep. 
probably keeping about the same organization uh, layout, if you will, um, as I had before. And now I'm just putting less stuff back. So I'm gonna end up with more space in here. Um, and I'm just gonna try to keep it that way. Not everything has to be full to the brim. Stepping out, it's Friday night. How I'm longing for this day. Yes, I'm single. Oh, we won't do. Brown cake pan. Um, I haven't used it in a long time, but again, I want to start um, getting and I'm cooking more um maybe get back into baking for those who don't know right out of high school i went to culinary school and i got an i got a degree in baking uh i haven't done anything with it since and now i'm in nursing school but i want to try to make some time to do some more baking so i'm gonna hold on to this for now and if i find myself in a few months not using it then i'll get rid of it This is things that I am decorating from my cabinet of pots and pans. It feels so much better to have less stuff. It's easier to get to the things that I do use and I'm excited. Next, I think I'm gonna go through my uh, food storage. I've gotten rid of most of my plastic stuff except for stuff that like the kids or I or Cole take for lunches. I'm in nursing school. And while my lecture classes are online, we still go into the hospital for our clinicals. So um, sometimes I like to take my lunch and I'm gonna work on doing that more versus buying lunch in the cafeteria at the hospital. But I've got a ton of glass storage and I really don't need it. It's taking up space. Most of it I don't use, but honestly, we don't really usually have that much leftovers. I do put some of my like produce and things in my glass storage, but even still doing that, um, I don't use it all. Okay, so I found one, two, three, four, five, six small what are these? One cup. Little Pyrex dishes. I don't feel like I need that many. So I think I'm gonna keep maybe four. I think I'm gonna get rid of a couple of these. Like, so I'm keeping four. So I only need four lids. And I even had an extra lid where the container is, I don't know. Seven of the two cups. I'm thinking I might just keep three of them. I have six here. Plus I have another one in the refrigerator that uh, pretty much stays there. That's where I keep all of our like baby carrots uh, for snacks and, and meals and things like that. So I think I'm gonna keep three of these and then the one that's in the fridge and I'm going to get rid of three of them. And then finally I just, I have this one large. Uh, this is my largest one and I don't know how big it is. Anyways, seven cups. I've got one of those and I use it pretty often. Um, and it's the only one that I have, so I'm hanging on to this. Um, get them all reorganized in this cabinet and we'll go from there. Something to discover. Think you're a little fun. But I have seen the face more than a this bag or this box of like little foldable like folding snack bags I bought two of them because I'm at the pandemic I saw this thing on Facebook or Pinterest or somewhere saying you could use these things as like gloves when you're going to like get gas or whatever and I never ended up using them so I don't need this I don't use them quick enough to justify having another one of these in my house uh, also I am slowly trying to work towards 
being more sustainable. Once I get closer to needing more bags, I plan on changing over to using stasher bags or something similar to that. So like reusable silicone bags as opposed to using single use thin plastic bags. Make my house a little bit more eco-friendly, reducing the amount of waste that comes out of our home. I'm going to use up what I have, except for this, because again, I don't use them um, near enough to justify taking up space. So the things that I have that are already open, I'm gonna go ahead and use them. I might as well, I paid money for them. They're already, they've already been in use. I might as well take advantage of using what I have, but this is not open. It's perfectly good. Somebody else could probably use it. And so I'm gonna give it. All right, so here is that cabinet, all decluttered, reorganized. It feels so much better, and I feel like I can get to things so much easier, um, and it looks so much better. This cabinet's already pretty minimal, but I found a random black bowl in there, so I'm getting rid of that one, and everything else can stay. This is a cabinet that has a bunch of random stuff in it. Uh, I'm going to turn it into basically like my plastic storage container uh, for like produce and uh, dry goods and things like that.
much better. Um, I also pulled the stuff out on the side that over here, this bat, there was a basket here that had like the sandwich cutters and vinegars. I put the white vinegar underneath the sink because I really don't use it for cooking. I use it sometimes for cleaning, so I'll keep that there. Um, these are like my little cutting boards. Um, and I had a couple of bottles of apple cider vinegar in there, which didn't look very good. I didn't realize that you should refrigerate it after it's been opened, so I had to dump those out. They just didn't look good. These are all like recipe books, and most of these are kind of like sentimental. They were my mom's. A lot of handwritten recipes by her um, in those books, and she passed away uh, about eight years ago. So those are some things that I'm going to keep. I didn't even realize that I had these things. And honestly, I probably don't need them, but before I get rid of them, I'm gonna go through them and see if there's any like cool recipes that I wanna try. Um, instant pot recipes that I've tried and are, are actually good. This I actually used when I was in culinary school. We had like at the end before graduation, we had to do what was called a portfolio show and we had to like come up with a restaurant concept and um, and I used this book for inspiration, like a comfort food with a twist. Um, and it's been in my closet, like hall closet with the rest of my books that I haven't looked at in years. Um, but I thought that I would go through this and see if there's anything in there that I may want to try out. I went through this pretty recently and I got rid of like, some coffee cups. I'm the only one that drinks coffee in my house. The kids like to have um, hot chocolate every once in a while. So um, I keep a few extra cups that I use most often are these, I, I hang right here on these hooks next to the coffee maker. So um, this like pink and yellow one here is actually for tea like loose tea so you can put the tea inside there put the water and put the lid on let it steep we've got six like glass drinking glasses and wine glasses up on the top uh the middle right shelf is like to-go cups um, my blender bottle my couple of coffee like to-go mugs um, that purple one up there, actually, I put up in the front to remind me that I need to see if I can find, like, another, uh, the little, like, rubber ring that goes into the lid is lost, and now it leaks everywhere, so I just don't reach for it. But it's still a perfectly good mug. I just want to see if I can find a, like, a replacement, like, a little rubber ring to keep it from leaking. Um, and on the bottom right is, like, all of the kids' cups, so, like, plastic stuff that, that they can... You know grab pretty easily if they want to get some water or something so I didn't get rid of a ton of stuff from in there uh, but you know every little bit helps another one already you have the green one remember I want this one. you want that one uh-huh and the green one is gonna have another one no gunner's got his his red one you don't need really need to have two lunch boxes I want two you want two all right I guess we're gonna keep this one
that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I didn't go through any food or anything. I think maybe I'll save that for another time. Um, but I did get rid of uh, quite a bit of stuff. Um, I had already de decluttered quite a bit of stuff uh, before this, but this just shows that decluttering is not like a one-time thing. It takes time. I guess that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. Um, if this motivated you, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. I've got more planned. Um, I'm gonna continue to take part in this uh, clutter-free January that uh, Dawn from the Minimal Mom has uh, organized. I'm uh, getting my own motivation from some of the ladies who uh, are taking part as well. And then, you know, doing my own thing and hopefully spreading that motivation even further. Happy New Year. Welcome to clutter-free January. I'll see you next time. Bye.